working with Gamer Auntie back in this event, Penny's Pursuit for Unexpected Endings. I have been loving level 5. I played at the difficulty level of 3. This was the only one that I lost on coming through the Penny's Pursuit level. And then I got a couple different ideas. It was one of those things where my brain just worked on it and worked on it and I woke up with ideas. I know, that's probably never happened to you. I'm the only one it happens to, right? I doubt it. So I've been like just loving this level. And I posted a couple different videos of different strategies and what I've been playing with. And I thought I'd drop back in and just narrate what I like and why I like it. And I have one slightly different idea that I don't think you've seen. All right, so you can see that we are, have objectives for this. First of all, we just have to survive <laughs> with, free, with limited sun and make it through this attack. Then we spend no more than 1,500 sun and ash 2,525 zombies to get our bonus objectives, and that levels up the pennies perk. So here's what I've been looking at. First of all, I've learned for this level, for me, the best perk is the heavy watering perk. I pick plants that I like. I want to get them back in there to use them. Mine launcher, even though my potato mine is at mastery level, sometimes it comes in with a plant food effect and it's boosted. They eat them up. They come too close to the left side of the board that it gets eaten up, and I don't get to go anywhere with them. And if I go for the anti-gravity perk, too many zombies float away, especially since I have it upgraded pretty well. Too many zombies float away, and I don't get a chance to get them ashed in time. Sunbeam, you don't really need sun for this level. Hyperhealing, I haven't used hyperhealing at all. I did try the multi-shield once, but I didn't really find it that useful. So I just keep coming back to the heavy watering perk over and over. That's my preferred perk. If you have a different preferred perk, tell me in the comments. While we're talking about the comments, I'd love to hear from you. I try to reply to comments as I get and see them. So, again, I'd love to hear your opinions on play and what you like to use. All right, I am taking a title turn up. My lightning read, if you've been paying attention, you know that I was all about getting this lightning read leveled up. What I like about the lightning read is those zaps will hang around, and we can, after we plant food it, and we can get some extra lightning clouds waiting for the next wave of zombies. So anytime that I can get in front of the next wave of zombies, I'm all about that. I like an imp pair. And the shrinking vial has been really helpful because it just gets everybody down and a little more manageable at the beginning. Now, this is the one thing that I've done a little differently is I've added the electric blueberry. When this level starts, you have a gargantua. I think he's the one from Pirates. I think that's who comes out first. And you have a balloon zombie that you need to get rid of pretty quickly. And I found that shrinking them and then having the electric blueberry will take care of those two. You've got to get one gargantua out of here quickly so that you have plant food for the rest of the board to take effect. I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so let's rock. I hope you're ready to rock. And I'm just going to throw in a few lightning reads. I usually start with about six and two electric blueberries. So that has me spending, and mine are leveled up a little bit, so they're a little cheaper, but I'm spending about 500 sun to get this started off. Okay, time to rock. Now I'll come in right away. So there's our balloon. Okay. He can be really tricky. He's already taken care of, which is so helpful. He just flies up too close to the other plants. He starts to sometimes get too close to my lightning reeds and shoe with those, and it's hard to get him down. All right, this will help take care of these guys. We already have right in hand one plant food to use, and I'd like to get just a few more lightning reed boosts here before I go for that plant food, but I think that balloon zombie is going to make me have to do it. 
So you can see I've got a lot of imps. I have these clouds coming in. I already have another plant food or two or three lined up. I'll do one more lightning read. Now what I've noticed here is it doesn't make sense to tile turn up the electric blueberry. It's just not helpful. It dies really fast. It's supposed to electrify four, but it just it dies really quickly and it the cloud doesn't hang on. You don't get those lightning zaps for the next round of zombies. All right, so you can see we have a really great board set up here. And this board set up will take us right to the end. Final wave. One more time. Let's do. That was even useless to tile turn up that last lightning read. So this I think has been my favorite Penny's Pursuit level ever. And it's also been a favorite of mine for like just activating that electric blueberry and having a little bit of fun with it. So how are you playing it? How do you enjoy it? Like I said, I think the trick here is you have to get that first gargantuar out of the way so you have plant food if you're doing that tile turnip strategy. And you need something that takes out the balloon zombie. I tried sticky rice bomb. It's where I first got in trouble with this level and lost it because the sticky rice bomb does not impact that balloon zombie. I don't know. I don't care for that, but it is what it is. All right, so don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. I could really use a subscribe. And I'd love to hear what you think of this level. And if it's not your favorite level of all Penny's Pursuits of all time, tell me what yours is. Take care.